What's up everyone, Dave here with another exciting tutorial and today I want to talk about how to convert an image sequence like this into a video file in Blender. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So assume that you have an image sequence. I'll have another video at, at some point to show how to kind of render out an image sequence like this. But um, think of an image sequence as like a flip book. Okay, each frame has a slight change and if you flip it fast enough, it's gonna have this illusion of animation, okay? But those images alone aren't gonna do us any good. We have to kind of put them together in a video file. So how do we do that? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and switch in Blender to compositing, okay? Now, here's where all the magic's gonna happen, but first of all, I'm gonna switch this to video sequencer. Okay, cool. Now, I'm gonna set up over here in my output, so I can see render properties, here's the output properties. In my output properties, I'm gonna set the resolution to be whatever the resolution of the video that I want. Um, let's say 1920 by 1080. Then I feel like I can come down here, the frame range. So if I look at this, I can see that this is 100 frames. So I'm gonna say um, frame start one to 100. And um, I can see here that it changes my end frame down here as well, that's important. Okay, cool. Then if I come down here, output. Okay, where is it gonna save to? So if I click on this, maybe I go to the desktop and I just render or I right click and say new folder. I'm gonna call this video uh, blender. Okay, accept. Okay, cool. That's where it's saving, I'll just hit accept. And I can see that it's, if I wanna see this, I can bring this over like that and I can see that it's saving in Video Blender. That's awesome. File format right now, I'm gonna change this to be, um, you might think, well, I want it to be an AVI like video file, but that's really not what we want. I'm, I want it to be a video. So I'm gonna do FFmpeg video. And then what I can do is click on an encoding right here and here's where I can change it. So where it says container, I'm gonna switch this to MP4 or MPEG4. And then the video codec, I wanna make sure that is H.264. Okay, that's pretty much it right there. Now, how do I bring in the sequence? Well, up here, remember I was on video sequencer. Now I can go to add and I can say add image sequence. And if I click on that, I can go find it. Uh, let's see, turntable, here it is. And I'm gonna select the first frame and I'm gonna scroll all the way down here, shift select this. I wanna make sure that end frame is set to, um, looks like in my case, 100. And I'm gonna say add image strip. Now I can see that there's the image strip and now I'm ready to begin. Uh, so I can just go to render, render animation and now it's gonna do its thing. You can see it also, I can see the progress bar down here and that's it, it's all done. And now if I look at this, so if I go into turntable, oh, actually video blender is where I saved it to. And I can see right here that there's the video and I can see that it put the flip book together and I have a video that I can email my friends, do whatever I want with it. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, please leave any comments or questions in the comments below and if you like, little tips and tricks like this, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos every week. Awesome. Have a great day.